Hello, this is Archive of Death coming out of retirement for something a little bit special. I have been handed this at Interactive Tribble from my friends at the Science Division, and they're letting me take a look at their pre-production model. This is what you will get out of the box if you order from their pre-sale that is going on right now. And let's go over it a little bit. So if you come down here, you can open up the guts, and this little box here is eh, where the magic comes in. This takes three AA batteries, which you simply put in here, not included, but I will tell you, this guy has been running on these three batteries for over 100 hours at this point, and it is still going strong. So once that's in, you are all set to go for what we'll show you as the features. Now for features, what we have is the ability to control this via app or just on its own. I'll show you how it works on its own and then we'll actually get into how the app works. Simply turn on the box and it will turn on in one of its three modes. The three modes are at ease, on duty, and watchdog. So right now it's in at ease. Simply press this mode button, two squeaks, and that means it's on duty. And then the third mode is watchdog. And then you press again and it goes back to the first mode. And we'll get into what these modes actually do uh, when we go into the app. I just wanted to show you this actually functions fully without any cell phone. The cell phone just gives you a little bit of Bluetooth connectivity to actually uh, take a look at other things. Now we'll go over pairing your device to the Tribble. This is the official Science Division app. Uh, this is coming out with the Tribble, which is expected to ship in 2020. The app has a few bugs here right now, just due to the beta nature of the process. But by the time it comes out, those should all be squashed. In order to pair your device to the Tribble, you go into the Manage option, Pair Tribble. And then you take your Tribble, press and hold the Mode button. Tribble found. Turn to Crew. You got your Tribble. Uh, first thing you can do is change the volume. Uh, don't ever go that loud, but you have the option. I'm going to keep it down low. And you can also rename it. Let's go with Test. Oops. And it's all set. Now you go back to the assignment screen, and now you can control it with the app, which we shall see. Now that we have our app paired up with our Tribble, let us put it back together and take a look. So you simply place the box back in, close it up, and your Tribble is ready to go. What we're in now is called at ease mode. That's one beep. And what that is, is you're just having a Tribble act like any pet. When you play with it, it starts to React. One thing that doesn't really come through in the video, it actually has a vibration unit in it, so it actually purrs and shakes when you touch it. And the more you play with it, the more it'll actually just start to react on its own. Uh, if you let it sit, it gets bored and it just kind of goes to sleep, but you can come play with it. And saving battery life, if you just don't touch it for an hour, shuts off. Very nice. Another option we have is the on duty mode. That's two squeaks. When it's in on duty mode, this is how you can play games with it. So when you touch it, it might scream at you. And you can hear that vibration a little bit. Or it might coo. It's actually randomly generating in its code whether or not it screeches or it coos. So it's detect Klingon. You can use this to just you can use this to select people, find out who on your friends list is evil or good, and do whatever you'd like. Third option we have is the watchdog mode. And what this is, you can set it down on any object and it'll just stay silent. But the second someone moves it, so the idea is you can set it on top of, say, your laptop. And if someone comes in and tries to sneak into your laptop, oh, and the final option is you can just at any time set it off. You could have it at ease, 
Your friends are playing with it. It's all nice and sunny. And those are the features. Now the question is, should you buy one of these? And honestly, I've already bought one. These are a lot of fun. Just a cute toy to have sitting with you. And honestly, it's a really good sign for Star Trek in general because this is made by fans who just decided one day they wanted to do this and CBS let them and now they are part of Star Trek history and it's a really good sign for things in the future with if other people want to do something like this. It's a really good way to support the show, support independent creators who've made something like this and I think it's really just worth it. So this has been Archive of Death, going back into our time. Thank you.